In this video, I will show you how to use Excel to calculate the future value of an investment where you make regular recurring payments like you do in a systematic investment plan or SIP. Excel has the FE function that can be used to calculate the future value based on an initial sum as well as a regular recurring payment. The first where you have no initial sum and you have a regular recurring payment. The second where you have an initial sum but you do not have any recurring payments. This is more like compound interest. And the third is a combination of the both where you have an initial sum and you also have a regular recurring payment that you are making. Now let us look at the FV function and its parameters. This FV function has five parameters and is a bit more complicated than your normal formula. So let us look at each of the parameters in detail. The first one is rate, which is the interest rate per period, and it is denoted in decimals or a percentage. Then you have NPER, which is the total number of payment periods. Then comes PMT, which is the payment made for each of the periods. The last two are the optional ones. The PV is the initial investment and it can be zero. And the last, last one is type, which indicates when the payments are due. If it, the payment is due at the end of the period, it is denoted by a zero. If it's, uh, payments are due at the start of a period, it is denoted by one. One thing to note is that any payment that you are doing will be it the PMT or the PV has to be denoted by a negative number. Otherwise, we will have an error in the calculation. We will look at three quick examples that will help you to use this formula in any situation. So we the first one that we have is the simplest one where we have we are calculating the future value with no initial sum and a recurring yearly payment. So now let us have a look at this. So here, you, as I said, you have no initial investment. So your PV is zero and you are making a recurring contribution of 250. So your PMT is 250 for a term of 10 years and your annual interest rate is 5%. So we are denoting N per NPER as 10 and rate as 5% or 0 0.05. Now we can calculate the future value very in a, in a shortcut, which helps us to remember all the parameters by saying equal to FV and then pressing after you've written FV, you have to press control A. Now, when you do that, it opens up the function arguments tab, which it makes it very easy to input the parameters. So here, what we will do is we will say, we want to say 0 0.05 as the rate, N per is 10, PMT is minus 250, PV is zero, and the type we can put it as zero. And when we say hit okay, it has calculated the future value for us. Now, let us look at the second example, where we, this is similar to the compound interest where we are, we have an initial investment of uh, 5,000. We are not doing any recurring contribution and we have a 5% annual interest rate for a term of 10 years. Again, we will type FV and then hit control A. Our rate here is 0 0.05 and per is 10. PMT here is zero. PV is minus 5000 and I will hit OK. So as you can see, it has calculated the future value. Now the last but not the least, actually this is the most common and most important one where we will look at where you have an initial sum and a recurring payment. Here we are looking at SIP with a monthly contribution and not a yearly one. So here I have uh, initial investment of 5,000 with a recurring contribution of 250 for a term of 10 years and for an annual interest rate of 5%. Now, be consistent with the units used when you are specifying the rate and NPER. Because we are doing a monthly contribution, as I said, we are doing a monthly contribution, my number, uh, my NPER would be 10 times 12, which is um, 12 months into 10 years, 120. And I have to also 
express my interest rate in the same terms so at a monthly interest rate which is 0 0.05 divided by 12 with this simple trick in mind we will have to we will go ahead and enter our fv formula right fv control a here we will say at rate we will say 0 0.05 divided by 12 and npr we can write uh, 120 directly pmt here is minus 250 pv is minus 5000 and type we can leave it as oh, we can omit type and once we hit ok it should calculate the future value for us so this is how you can use the fv function to calculate the future value in multiple scenarios hope this video was useful to you if it was please do hit the like button that helps us tremendously with the youtube algorithm thank you and have a wonderful day